And we are recording. It is uh, last quarter moon, and it is the last magical Monday of August. So we're going to get started. Plug it in my microphone. There we go. So last quarter moon, if you're not familiar with um, Typically, people think of uh, like four phases of the moon, sometimes three, like crescent, full, and then the other crescent on the other side. Um, but there's really four if you want to think like the waxing crescent, full moon, the waning crescent, and then um, you know the why is my brain blinking? The new moon. <laughs> um, or the dark of the moon, some people will call it because it's the opposite of the full moon. Um, but if you really want to get want to get technical, there's eight phases. So there's instead of just four, there's you know like full, and then you um, of course there's uh, first quarter, um, and then we have the last quarter. So. That's what, um, oh, we have somebody, hello person. We can't hear you because my microphone is plugged in. So give me just a hello moment. There. We just started, so you only missed that, I don't know, about two minutes. Oh, okay. Hello. Welcome, you do not have to turn on your video if you do not wish to, but if you want to say hello. Most definitely, hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, good, how are you? Oh, pretty decent. Thank you for asking. Glad to glad to be here. Um, and what part of the country are you, or maybe even close by, are you um, dialing in from, as they say? Uh, I'm in the U.S. Okay, that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> Continental U.S.? Yes. Okay, that narrows it down some more. All right. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so tonight is uh, last quarter moon, mm -hmm. and which falls on tonight. Um, next Tuesday is uh, new moon. So, and then uh, for, um, before I forget, next Monday, because it's Labor Day, we're not going to do Magic Monday. Just because people are going to have stuff to do. Right. Either they're getting their kids ready, go to school. Because I, I, I did Google it here. Kids go to school the day after Labor Day here, but there are some places I think they're already starting. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, and we'll just start again in two weeks. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So I'm gonna plug my microphone back in. I forgot to say. Okay. So um, I will randomly check to see if there's anything that you want to share. Mm -hmm. or um if you have a question but if uh, if you have a question there is that um raise your hand button and i'll be able to see it and i'll be able to like stop what i'm doing come over unplug my mic and say hey what is your question so mm -hmm. all right so i'll just back up uh so phases of the moon and tonight is last quarter which sounds weird because like it sounds like some people call it fourth quarter um or some people call it third quarter which is just depends on who you're talking to what term they use i feel like the majority of people use the term last quarter mm -hmm. um so you have new moon waxing all the way up to full moon and you have full moon um waning all the way down to new moon so next week next tuesday is new moon um and that's when for those three days, just like there's three days of the full moon where you it, uh, you see the full moon, there's three days where you don't see the moon at all. Um, the day before, the day of, the day after. And then there's a little sliver in the sky. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I personally call that the new moon because you see it again. It's brand new. That's me. But most people call the three days where you don't see it at all, new moon. But so I don't have pages and pages and pages like I normally do. Tonight's going to be light, um, but um, if you want to take notes, you can. And then um, the replay for this, 
as well as every preceding uh, Magical Mondays in our Facebook group. If you so desire, all I have to do is click the link that you in the email that you use to join tonight. Um, just you can click that link to join, and then you can have access to all of those as well as what we covered tonight. And then I can post all these notes in there as well, so you can have them for your reference. Okay. Oh, you brought your own paper. Gold star. I literally have. <laughs> space. No, that's that. No, that's great. Yeah. So if you don't need this, then we can just scooch it out of the way. Yes. Okay. All right. So, so this is going to be information about every new moon. It's not specific to this new moon. Because sometimes, you know, there's the super, new, you know, the super moon or the lion's gate or whatever. So this is just general, every new moon you can, you can reuse um, this information. So um, releasing, like, it's kind of like out with the old and in with the new. So you have this like week where you can essentially spring clean. <laughs> and get ready for the new moon that's a week from now. So releasing the old. And um, if you think of something later that you're not thinking of right now, you're not jotting it down or making notes in your phone or what have you, don't worry. Like um, you have time. You have time. You don't have to do everything tonight. So releasing the old, releasing negative energy and negative situations. So the situations can be people, they can be environment. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes there's though, there are those people, um, you know how they say you can't choose your family. You also can't change, you can't choose your, uh, your coworkers, you know what I mean? Like, there's there's usually that one person there that you're like oh this person drives me bonkers right <laughs> so sometimes um sometimes you can't release everything but we're gonna release the things that we can you know what i mean and then we can also make space for healing the things that we can't necessarily release at this time so it's a good idea to think of um what kind of negative energy be it a person a place um a, a thing as in a situation um letting go of what no longer serves us um like habits practices sometimes it's people sometimes um as an example for me um i had to leave a particular group um, cause it was better for me, um, emotionally because I didn't want to, I was like, okay, these, my, these, these games that these people are playing, I, I, I'm not, not going to play. play. I'm not going to play. They can find other people to play these games. And, um, it was, it was a dance. It was a dance troupe. Um, I, I knew that leaving meant I would never Get to you know what I mean like that yeah. yeah if I left but you know it was it was the best thing for me on an emotional level so sometimes we have to make those hard decisions but but that you can always make your own opportunities just because this over here it might seem like the only the only possible way to get somewhere I promise you there are other alternative directions just like on if you google like how do i get to such and such a place right on, right on google yeah. maps it gives you options like here's path a b c which one do you want to take right or, or there's, a, well, there's a way yes yes all right so we're gonna um let go of what no longer serves us so you need a person a place a thing um, breaking free from toxic habits. Um, here's a good toxic habit that we, I think we're all guilty of the way we talk to ourselves. Right. Um, like, all, um, on a fairly regular basis, not every day, but here 
at higher self, um, like someone will say, uh, like the gal today said, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm like, no, 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 no. We do not talk to ourselves that way here. And she looked at me funny, like, what? What are you talking about? Um, so, and when I catch myself doing stuff like that, like, no, nope, uh-uh, back it up and rewrite, you know what I mean? Like, re-say it, um, erase it. If you have to, men um, in your, um, your mental chalkboard, well, or whiteboard, we don't do chalkboards anymore. <laughs> um, erase that and rewrite a sentence. Um, and then... Uh, like when we say, I can't do it. Whether you tell yourself you can or whether you tell yourself you can't, those are correct statements because you've made that decision. Just, I think it was yesterday uh, I was talking about this um, to somebody uh, that we were bringing up here. And um, I was saying like a dance class. If somebody says, I can't do it, like, no, 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 you can't say can't. You can say, I'm not able to do it at this time, but I'm working on it. Because if you say, mm, I can't, well, you might as well you, just spend your money on something else. If you're, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so breaking free of toxic habits, whatever those habits might be, that's just an example. Toxic relationships. Um, like another example from my life was a friend of mine, not going to name names, but the, um, the way that, that she would talk to me. I, I look back and I'm like, why did I ever put up with that? How is this my best friend? <laughs> Not saying that she was evil or awful or anything like that, but um, uh, why, did I, why did I tolerate that? Because honestly, she kept doing that behavior because I, I let her, you know? Um, so it's my fault as much as it was hers, her fault. She do, she did it. I let her do it. So she did it. And it just kept compounding. So if we know, if you know anybody in your life, that's like that, maybe it's someone you can either, um, try to have a, have a conversation with that person, let them know, like, uh, let's say if somebody's always late. You can say, well, my time is, is just as important as your time is, is important. I would appreciate it if you could arrive on time and see how that goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe that person thought, well, she never says anything. You know, it's not a problem. It doesn't bother her. Or that person could just get all mad and then they're not in your life anymore. You know what I mean? But maybe, maybe in the long run, that's okay. So, I mean, you have to make these decisions for yourself. Um, but it's a, good it's a good time to take inventory. What do you have that you want to keep? What do you have that, oh, that's got to go. All right. Breaking bad habits. Um, well, that's basically, yeah. I, I typed that twice. I already said that. Okay. Okay. Um, so I like to say this as metaphysical, instead of physical feng shui, where you're moving stuff around or you're cleaning out your closet and you're donating, this is like spiritual feng shui or emotional feng shui, um, make space for what you want to call in, right? Because with new moon, new moon is perfect for planting new seeds, new beginnings, new ideas, new adventures new creations. So this is a perfect time if you spend this week decluttering, whether it's physical clutter, because that obviously affects you. You might not realize it, but like physical clutter affects you emotionally. Even if it's like, it's always been that way. It's always, like, you know, it's always been a mess. Um, uh, just it, it, So you might not even notice the way it affects you. Um, and then um, I lost my train of thought. So making space for what you do want to bring in. So uh, something I've said before is if you um, dig a hole in your garden, but you don't plant anything in it, it's going to get filled in with something. 
Um, it could, the hole could just cave in and you have to start over or there could be a storm and now there's a whole bunch of leaves and junk in the hole. So choose what's, you know, like if you make that hole, if you make that space, that negative space, that vacuum, choose what you're gonna plant in there. Whether it's like a physical hole, like you're gonna plant roses or it's, it's an emotional vacuum or what have you. So this is a good time to, if you wanna jot down, um, who are you gonna release? What are you gonna release? Where where are you the most affected affected um, negatively? You know, like you got because you have normally your home is your safe haven, but then you know, but, you know some people are like, oh my god, I had such a bad day at work, and maybe that's every day. You know what I mean? Uh, well, what's that? Don't be very bad. Well, and then sometimes. <sighs> Again, this is an example of my, from my own life, but I didn't realize how toxic certain relation, work relationships were until I wasn't there anymore. And I had time to step back and take a look at the situation, not standing in it, but almost like an observer and be like, oh, that was not good. <laughs> but for whatever reason, when you're in the middle of it, you might not you might not notice it as much, you know what I mean? So, so what do we wanna make space for? Because in a, in a week, new moon, we can, well, we won't gather here, but on your own, you know, you can, you can plant those seeds, you can set those intentions, you can make a pl action plan. I'm gonna do this and this is how I'm gonna get there those sort of things. So if you, and if you don't, you don't have to have a list of everything tonight, but if you, if you think of things you wanna get rid of, and that's making space for the things you wanna call in. Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna take a moment. Unplug my mic. Okay. And put on my eyeballs. So ZM. Do you want me to just call you ZM? What would you like me to call you? Okay. You are muted. I'm not sure if you are aware of that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my microphone back in. I've just had to like, I'll be in a Zoom call or on a Zoom call. And that's, even though I let my dog out before to go potty, like that's when he has to go potty. I'm like, oh, now, now, okay. <laughs> All right, so, um, so cleansing or cleaning. However you want to, however you want to look at it. One that is super powerful, and for some people like myself, kind of difficult. Um, forgiveness. <laughs> um, forgiving, forgiving other people. For the longest time, for the longest time, um, when I heard people say, um. Well, that person was doing the best that they could. And I was thinking, nah, -uh. nah, -uh. no, they chose. They chose to do fill in the blank. They chose to talk down to me. They chose to steal. They chose to um, cause physical harm. They chose to um, whatever, fill in the blank. They chose. Because we are, we humans have free will. We're not mindless automatons. We're not programmed computers just walking about. We have free will. We have choices to make. And it took me a very, 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 very long time. Um, and I still am 
I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm still struggling with it a little bit. I'm still working on it. Um, but um, when I'm doing a lot better with understanding that people are doing the best that they can, even though they're choosing to do something. Um, if you look at why people make these choices, um, something will happen to us between the ages of zero and four, and we probably won't remember it because honestly, I don't remember before age four. Um, I don't know, like the, I feel like the average person doesn't really start remembering stuff. Like how far back do you remember? Like at what age? You know what really threw me is when I was Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that I can see. I can really see remembering that. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. Cool. <laughs> um. So. Okay. So there will be an initial event between the um air age of zero and four and then there will be subsequent events after that um throughout our childhood and our teenage years and young adulthood including into all the way up to however age you are now um that will reinforce this this belief so um so being stuck um, how did, like, okay, um, how did that make you feel other than scared? Like, like, like that, um, did you feel like you couldn't depend on other people that, um, that they weren't there for you or like, in just a few words, like you, besides scared, like to death, I'm sure you were scared to death. Do you know what I mean? I was mostly impatient. Mm. I was impatient okay. to get me out because I knew there were scorpions on there. <gasps> ooh, ooh, you know, so ooh. He doesn't gotta get me out now. <laughs> okay, okay. Besides all the, I was scared of trying to get me out of here. Uh-huh, yeah. I was mostly yeah. just impatient to get me out of here. Okay, okay. So, would you feel from, um, throughout your life that that sort of that sort of feeling would reintroduce itself but in different forms or that people that you're impatient with with people very. okay okay <laughs> like very. okay and I'm not judging because I'm not patient with people they people think I'm patient I, I'm not I'm not patient um <laughs> like, not patient. Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm working on it <laughs> um so, um, so, and so we make these, we make our choices as the way we treat other people based on um, these things that happen to us throughout childhood. And I'm not saying it excuses it, but at least you have a reason. At least there's, there's a purpose behind it. So when, when somebody feels that they, it's, they, it, they need to belittle you, it's because they don't think very much of themselves at all, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's okay. Uh, I'm just saying once you, it's once you understand why a person is doing what they're doing, I feel like it's easier to forgive. Yeah, and honestly, not forgiving people only hurts yourself. Because if you carry every single thing that every single person that's done to you, do you know what I mean? It would be kind of be like Santa's um, bag of presents, that giant bag of presents, but it's just pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, just the other day, as I was going to sleep, I, I went through this, you know, I forgive this person, I forgive this person, I forgive this person. Um, and it just, it just sort of, um, like there was one, it's kind of like popcorn. If you've ever like um, made, if you've ever made popcorn on the stove, not with, not in the microwave, but if you've ever, like you put oil 
and then you put the the kernels and you shake 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 and then they're like pop 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 and then blah, 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 blah. It, that was kind of like that like i forgive this person i forgive this person and this person and 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 it just kept going 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 and then just like popcorn it started to slow down oh there were a couple more oh yeah i forgive them and i forgive them and then i was like and then i forgive myself because there's stuff you know it's important yeah i feel like that's important i think it's okay to save it for the end you know if you want to start with that if you want to start with forgiving yourself but then as you go you might think of other things you know and then you might need to forgive yourself again <laughs> you can forgive yourself as many times as you want but this is a really good time and we um if you want to think of a few right now because we're going to focus on what we're releasing and we're going to replace it um, with positivity. Because remember, um, on planet Earth, I'm not talking about the entirety of space, because most of the universe is a vacuum. However, on planet Earth, nature does not like a vacuum. <laughs> and so she'll just fill it in with whatever is close by. So we want to purposely fill in our vacuum with positivity. Okay. So if there are people that you think of tonight and then later, they just, oh, I forgot about Aunt Mildred. Um, right. Then you can, you can, you can always do this. And it's, I felt it was really helpful to like, um, like as I'm closing my eyes, as I'm falling asleep, um, and just letting that go. Unburdening. In fact, here's a good visualization. Um, so if you want to, uh, if you're, if it helps to visualize by closing your eyes, you can do so. But this is something you can do like every day. It's a super easy visualization. You can just see yourself walking, like let's say you get up out of your chair and you walk out of the room and walk out of your house and you walk, um, you know, to out of your driveway and onto the road or to wherever. And you can just walk to a bridge. You can walk up to the bridge and then halfway up the bridge, you can stop halfway at the very top of the bridge. And then you can, if it, if it helps to like um, see yourself take things out of your body and release them, like whatever happened that day, maybe somebody cut you off, uh, you know, and you take that out of your body and you plunk that into the river and you watch it float away. It's gone, right? Um, so um, you, you're, um, what, ah, uh, gosh, like, let's say there's a bill, like, uh, you have coming up, or there's some surprise thing, you're like, oh, crap, or you forgot about something, you know, like, whatever's causing you stress, take it out of your body, plunk it in the water, watch it splash, watch it float away down, down the river. And it's a really good visualization. Um, and uh, it's something you can get in the habit of doing every single day. I can't take credit for this. I got it from, from um, Scott Cunningham, one of my favorite um, Wiccan authors. So, so you can, for, however you wanna forgive people, if you wanna just say it, or if you wanna go to the bridge and say, I forgive Aunt Mildred or blah, blah, blah. You don't have to put Aunt Mildred in the water. <laughs> But I mean, it's just a visualization. So if it helps you and it makes you laugh, but, you know, it's not gonna hurt. Okay. So, um, so that's another way to like release the old, cleansing your yourself emotionally. Um, then we have cleansing as far as whatever direction we've been on. Um, like Google Maps or whatever projects we've been working on. Um, projects could be something physical or or some, something we're creating, anything like that. So where were you headed? Were you clear on that before? You know, uh, no judgment, because sometimes you, you'll start something and 
maybe the reason you didn't quite get uh, to your destination is because you weren't really clear as to what steps you needed to take to get there. And we've all done it. So with the new moon, if you start fresh, like a clean slate, you're like, okay, yes, I am doing X, Y, Z. Like, let's say you're going to learn how to sail. No clue. I'm just saying this because there's people out there in boats. So I just pulled that out of the air. So when you know at nothing about it, so you're going to have to do research. Like, how do I, how do I learn to do this? Where can I learn? You know what I mean? And then you can take those action steps. Whereas if you before you're like, yeah, I like to. And you know what I mean? Like you didn't, well, yeah, yeah. And you didn't put anything behind it. So, um, so, or, I mean, if you started a project and then you're like, oh my God, I must be flipping crazy. This is huge. It's out of control. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I've done this. I'm speaking from personal experience where I'm like, I get halfway through and I'm like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Why did I do this? But I'm like, I've already started this. I'm halfway done. I'm finishing this. <laughs> but sometimes we don't take, like, we don't make the, um, like you said, the baby steps. We don't make it in sizable chunks. And sometimes you get overwhelmed and you just like, oh, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. So, but if it's important to you, it's, it's perfectly fine to pick up something that you sat down, you know, get ready uh, and start it again with the new moon. Okay. So, what have we learned so far? Because everything happens for a reason, right? So, uh, if you look at um the negative people or the negative situations in our life and see them as a gift um uh, it's not that it's not a gift in pretty shiny wrapping paper it's a gift i don't know <laughs> like it got kicked around before it got delivered to your house you know what i mean like the like the boxes <laughs> that are all mangled and you open up your box and it's all it's you know um <laughs> So what have we learned so far? What can you say that, um, so anything, anything a bad situation happens. Um, let's say you and a coworker, um, uh, okay. So let's say a coworker misjudged your intentions, what you're gonna, and then they jumped down your throat. They said things and you're like, that is not at all what, what's going on here, right? Um, and then you're like, okay, what, what can I do next time? How can, I, uh, how can I speak with this person to where they, they better understand me? Even if you know you were like, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, you know what I mean? Um, you can still look at it and go, okay, well, what can I do to make this situation better in the future? That's just an example. So where, where were you headed? What have we learned so far? So again, you have your Google Maps. You can be like, okay, well, I thought I wanted, um, you know, because when they give you like three options to get to your destination, they, I thought I wanted A, B, B, yeah, it's going to be B, right? And so ultimately, where are you going? So if you are going to plant new intentions, new seeds uh, a week from now, what are they going to be? What is it going to grow into? Like a teeny weeny little acorn turns into a ginormous oak tree, right? So if you don't know what you're planting, like for instance, the plants on, on the balcony here is a naughty little squirrel. I'm really not happy with him. He <laughs> dug up one of the plants and he was, I don't know what he was burying in there. Now something's growing. I have no clue what it is. It's growing. I'm kind of <laughs> happy that at least something's growing in the planter because he ruined the plant that was in there, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> but I have no clue, no clue what it is. Maybe I'll find out because it's just now starting to grow and we're almost in September. So, <laughs> right? But it's a good example. Like, if you let a squirrel plant something, you don't know what you're going to get. You know, the squirrel's like, well, I killed it. Let's replace it. <laughs> mm. Maybe because I scolded him enough when he showed up on the porch. I'm like, no. He's like, ah, it's her again. <laughs> Okay. All right. So I'm going to. Unplug the microphone and just check in. Yes. Yes. I'm still here. Okay. All right. Do you have any um, comments or anything you want to share or. Um, no, I'm just, I've, I'm, I'm having a nice time just listening. <laughs> Okay. All right. Awesome. I didn't want you to feel ignored. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Thank you. Right. Thank you for being so considerate. <laughs> okay. I'm going to plug back in. Boop. There we go. Okay. All right. So home stretch. All right. So we, uh, so we're going to release the old, we're going to think of it as like you're cleaning out your closet and then you're giving it a nice scrub, it's lemon fresh now or whatever. Um, and so what are we gonna, fill, what are we gonna fill in? So the great thing about this time of the moon, this particular moon phase is bringing truth to situations. So like, here's a good phrase. Um, there's your version of what happened. There's my version of what happened. And then there's what's really that there, then there is what really happened. I know that sounds crazy because you're like, nah, it's, that didn't happen that way. But there are people that truly ultimately believe their version. Um, well, like in a situation where I'm like, this person is blatantly making stuff up. But they, they act like they really believe it. And it took me forever to realize it, it's not an act. Like that person really believes it. So you have to ask yourself, why? What makes them? But you know what I mean? Because you were there and you didn't see it that way, right? <laughs> I think we all know, like we all have our own version of this. <laughs> right? And you don't have to share. I think we've all had at least one experience where this person over here made like, you're like, what you're saying is blatantly untrue. That never happened. But they, they it, it boggles the brain. <laughs> but for whatever reason, they truly believe that. Their version, they believe their version. Okay. So sometimes... Sometimes to get along with other people, you kind of have to meet them halfway and understand from their point of view. So this is a good time if you are having, um, like I said, you know, like let's say it's a work environment or something like that, or family. Um, and if you can ask uh, for wisdom, guidance, ideas, suggestions, um, how to understand that person better. Because we make assumptions as to why that person is doing what they're doing. And we, from our perspective, we make assumptions about them with, you know, as to whatever it is they're doing or, or they're saying. So this is a good time to bring truth in, clarity, peace, knowledge, more knowledge. Even if you ultimately don't get along with that person beautifully, if you have more knowledge, information about where they're coming from, at least it can make the, the situation more palatable. Um, illumination, because it is the moon, even though the it's it's decreasing, there's still some illumination right now. Meditation is awesome. So if you uh, want to ask your spirit guides, angels, ascended masters. Um, ask them for their, their wisdom, their guidance, um, and meditate. 
or even uh, even ask for a sign of some kind to help you understand. Um, this is a good time of the moon phase for this moon phase. This is a good time to um, spend some time in solitude. I'm not saying that you have to become a nun and uh, join the monastery and give up your cell phone. I'm not saying that, but if you if you spend some quality time, like going for a walk out in Mother Nature and just getting that peace, that fresh air, listening to the birds. Oh my gosh, the frogs. Do you have a lot of frogs singing at night? At my house, there must be every frog in the county. <laughs> I literally have built like a little pond and creek uh -huh, in the back uh -huh. of our house. Okay. So okay, okay, cool. But they're singing. Like, cause I have a little dog, so we have to get up in the middle of the night so we can go potty. And I'm just like, oh my God, thank you universe for frogs. Just, I just love singing frogs. So um, spending a little, you know, every day, a little quality time, um, however you can get that peace, that, that calming, that solitude, uh, it's just a simple walk. Even, even if you live in, in the city, um, I'm sure there's a place where you can, even, even if you have to like walk around your block, something, something, get outside, get some, a little bit of sunshine, some fresh air. Um, uh, it's a really good time for introspection. Um, we spend so much time on distraction, whether it's watching the 24 hour news cycle or TikTok videos or, <laughs> you know, and, and um, when I'm getting ready in the morning, I, I usually listen to, um, I do um, have YouTube videos going, but it's usually something educational, like Neil deGrasse Tyson explaining something scientific you know what i mean so i'm expand as i'm waking up my brain i'm expanding my brain um so we spend a lot of time distracting ourselves even our, our brains busy 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 it's a really good time to just have some peace and quiet and you can um focus on your own thoughts yeah i have, I have a no listen documentary okay <laughs> yeah yeah um and then another, basically a kind of a uh, word for introspective, in, in, uh, mm -hmm, that word, introspection <laughs> is spending more time inward instead of going out somewhere. You know, again, that peace and quiet, collecting your own thoughts, analyzing your, um, your own feelings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so do we have things that we are ready to release? Or do you, do you feel like, oh, I, I, I need some time? You don't have to state anything. Okay, okay. Like, not like this pinpoint, it's just, where, where, where do you feel it in your body? Oh, in your high heart. Okay. So on your chakras, um, if you're familiar with the chakras, are you, okay. So you have your heart chakra, but then right above your um, heart chakra is called the high heart. And that's where you take on everybody else's everything. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so if you're prone to putting everybody else first, taking care of all of this and keeping, making sure people don't squabble and making sure and, and everything's perfect and uh, yeah. Um, and then you're just exhausted and you have no time for yourself. No time for yourself. You have no energy for yourself. And then if you actually want to do something for yourself, those other people that are they're depending on you, they might not even, they might not even like that. They might not. Uh, they might resent it even. I'm not saying that everybody, but I'm just saying it's, it's a possible side effect of you, of you doing everything for everybody else. They might get so used to it. Like, okay. So I was like, you know what? Nope, I'm going to make a I'm leaving. I need this. I am out of here. <laughs> and good for you. Boundaries. Boundaries. Oh, I'm going to tell a story. Um, this happened today. So here at Higher Self, um, on Mondays, um, 
a lot of us will will get lunch from Scallywags, which is basically just the next block over. Um, and so we call in our order and then a few minutes later, we'll walk over and pick it up. And so I'm standing there waiting. There's a gentleman in front of me placing his order. He places, so there's um, the, the gal ringing the register and then the gal that's working in the kitchen. I don't know their name, sorry. So the gal ringing the register, she rings it all up. And once she rings it up, it, it automatically prints up in the kitchen area. And so as soon as it's all rung up and he gets his receipt, he's like, oh, I changed my mind. <laughs> Which, um, so the gal ringing the register goes to the back to let the gal in the kitchen know, okay, don't, don't actually um, uh, place this order. He's changed his mind. And this man who's older, and I'm not male bashing, I'm not, I'm just, this is, this is something that happened today. Um, um, he whistles at them, kind of like you would call a dog, or if you were like, you know what I mean? And I was like, what? She, the gal just went back there to let her know, hey, you know, don't, don't place it, don't start this food order yet, because it's going to be wasted food, right? Um, oh, I saw you post a comment. I'll, I'm so sorry. Give me just a minute and I'll, um, um, I'll come and, uh, and un, um, unplug my microphone. Um, and the gal in the kitchen, she got triggered too. She calmed down, but it took a minute. She's like, excuse me? <laughs> I mean, that was kind of being very... <laughs> and um, so why did I tell this story? What were we talking Boundaries. about? Boundaries, thank you. Thank you for being here. Boundaries. <laughs> so that was, that was, um, that was a trigger for her for, and or, you know, and, and she was in a situation where she, she was about to lose her stovetop stuffing, but she calmed down and she's just like, I'm not going to even give this man the time of day. I just wanted to hug her. But yeah, boundaries like that is just not a way you treat other people. I'm not, and, and I wouldn't even treat my dog that way. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going to call my dog, I'm going to call him. <laughs> okay. So. All righty. Let's see here. If I pull up um, 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 chat, there's chat. And <laughs> not, not uh, exactly like that. Um, more like if you were going to call a, call your dog and I can't whistle, so I can't replicate it, but not like the cat call, like not like that, but not, no, no, not a wolf whistle, sorry. Um, if you were, if you were going to try to get your horse to stop, that kind of whistle. I don't know if that's helpful, but it, it's, it's the way people would call their, call their dog, like get over here. And so I was triggered. She was triggered. <laughs> Um, I wish I could whistle so I could do it. But anyway, it was not appropriate. It was not okay. Um, it was rude. And so, yes, boundaries, boundaries. So if there are things that you've allowed in the past and you're like, mm -mm, not anymore. And it's going to be awkward because if you've had that person that you've, they've always talked to you, they've always talked down to you or whatever and you let it happen and then they're like wow this is easy i can just keep talking this way to this person and then all of a sudden you stand up for yourself then that makes you the bad guy so uh, i'm not saying that it'll happen that way with every person but it could happen and it's unfortunate so dm did you want, did you have like anything that you wanted to share or? I mean, in uh, 
in what regard? <laughs> oh no, no, it's just because you're unmuted. So I didn't know. I didn't want you to feel like you um you didn't have an opportunity to speak. No, 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 no. I I, I appreciate that. No, um, I mean, I'm not sure if I have a story that completely relates to that, but yeah, I mean, I've been in very interesting, sometimes awkward situations where might just feel triggered at, uh, at uh, certain type of injustice or a certain form of bullying, or in this case, uh, objectif objectification. Mm -hmm. And honestly, and, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, uh, you know, and there's, uh, there's an interesting, <laughs> it's an interesting debate on whether someone like me should, should stop it or not, because uh, what's the term? I think it's like white knight or something like someone like me steps in to uh, save them. And I don't want to come across as that either, but I just, yeah. at, at the same time, like as a person though, just as a general forget gender, I just don't like to see someone yeah. mm -hmm. being, uh, being, being bullied. I went through that my entire life. Uh-huh. And the people that do the bullying from my experience, just because they graduate high school doesn't mean that they magically stop. They, nope. they continue to do it in the workplace. And so mm -hmm. you feel right. like, oh my gosh, I, it's, it's whatever your bully's name from school, it's that person again, just a different face. Yeah, I, I went through something like that. I, I used to work at a bank. It's probably the worst job I've had on the planet. Um, and one of my supervisors at the time, until I stood up for myself, she kept calling me boy. Oh. And um, <laughs> I mean, it's just like, I was used to it. I've been called every name in the book. I've, uh, again, as I said, I've been bullied, you know, K through 12, uh, uh -huh. verbally, physically, the whole nine yards. So it's just, you know, at sticks and stones, whatever. So I, I, I continue to do my work, but it's just, the month started to add up and I, I, I thought she would eventually cease that behavior, but she didn't. So we gave her verbally what for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and good for you for, um, and sometimes, you know, sometimes you feel like, okay, well, this person will get over it. They'll, they'll stop doing it. Um, yeah. Um, but good for you for standing up for yourself. Oh, thanks. It, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes it's all it takes, Espe and especially in the workplace, you have to maintain a sense of professionalism, you know, in that, in that yeah. same, in that, I, I have to add this, uh, in that same job, my coworker, my coworkers and I agree, at the time agreed that our boss was psychotic. Um, oh. and it's, and I'm sure you know what classical conditioning is. So, mm -hmm. So with us. Oh, did, I, did we lose you? We'll just wait a second because with Zoom, sometimes, because um, I, I don't think we're, because I'm still moving. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, yeah, there you are. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm on a Chromebook, so I'll probably delay every once in a while. That's okay. That happens. Yeah like yeah. zoom zoom and zoom and chromebook it's just a rotten marriage honestly uh -oh. <laughs> but but not anyway um so she uh yeah so she threatened to fire us for every single little thing and she would she would raise her voice more often than not and it's just it's nothing short of a hostile work environment it's like not even corporate would do anything about it so it's just oh, yeah so un yeah okay. like unfortunately towards the end of my stay i I had to raise my voice back and uh, actually made her cry. <laughs> it was no, very, I, yeah. I feel like that tells a lot about that person because if they were as tough as they wanted to, everyone to think they were. Mm -hmm. they would, so they were just, that person was feeling frail for whatever reason and to make themselves feel better. It took, that person took it out on you and your other coworkers yeah it uh, every... make it better, but at least you can at least you can look back on it of course it, well i i don't like raising my voice i'm a very civilized human being uh, but it's just after almost a year of that it's yeah. it's time <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's it's um 
Yeah, with the workplace, it, it makes so much difference with the type of supervisor you have. Are they, yeah. do they believe in incentive, rewarding, praise? Do they believe in encouragement, motivation? Or do they believe in cracking the whip? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it, it all depends. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> all right. So do you have, um, and you don't have to say anything out loud, but do you have anything that you would um, want to release right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, do you have at least one thing? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, good. So we're going to use um, um, a very simple uh, chant uh, that uh, was um, I downloaded, for lack of a better word. Um, and so here's the only thing about with Zoom is there is that teeny bit of a delay. Um, so, so even though you're not going to be completely in sync with us, you're still, I'm like, it's still going to work. I promise. Mm -hmm. I promise. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna, um, however many times, you know what I mean? It's it when you're, when it's a group of people um, and it's easy, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's easier to feel when you have everybody all in the same room, but it still works on Zoom. And for anybody watching the replay, you will still feel like I've watched recorded, um, um, recorded spiritual things and I felt the, the energy just smack me, you know what I mean? So there's, because there's really no such thing as time as we think of it, there's no chronos time, chronological time. It's cyclical, it's magical. So anybody watching the replay, don't feel like, oh, I missed it. No, you can do this too. Um, so we're going to use, it's only two lines, it's only two lines, it's not like um, the ones we've had in the past. Um, so it's with love and gratitude, I release because um, we want to be grateful. We don't want to release from the place of anger because then we'll, it'll just boomerang and come right back to us because we haven't truly released. Um, we can love the situation. We can appreciate the situation because we grew from it, right? Um, so with love and gratitude, I release in its place, I have peace. Not you're finding peace. You have peace. So whenever you say an affirmation, it's present tense. Yeah, you don't want to say, I'm working on it. Because you're going to be working on it till you're 97. <laughs> You'll never be done working on it. You, um, even if you are working on it, you can phrase it in such a way. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Um, sometimes you have to, you know, get a thesaurus or, you know, go to thesaurus.com. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Reword it so it's present tense. Alrighty, so we are going to visualize, um, we are going to visualize a, whatever it is we're releasing and then whatever is peaceful to you. Okay, and I don't care what, what it is, you can use the peace sign. If that works for you, do it. Yeah, oh my gosh, look at that. That's <laughs> funny. I didn't even notice that. So if you want just a giant peace sign in front of you, um, and and then you're just releasing this and this and this and this. And in your head, if you want to forgive so and so. So um if you um if you feel more comfortable, ZM, like uh, muting yourself so you just hear us, and then you can um that's totally fine too, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I, we're not gonna hear you because I am gonna plug my microphone back in just so you can hear us better. Okay, any questions? Okay, all right, plug in my microphone back in. Righty, so. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't show, that doesn't not show up. For, um, hopefully you don't hear all that traffic noise feel like you don't because the microphone's right here. <laughs> I feel like we're good. All right, so get comfy if you need to. Yeah, 
whatever you got to do to get comfy. Not that we're going to be doing this for 20 minutes or anything, but um, so that way you're not fidgeting like, oh, this is itchy or oh, this chair is not comfy or whatever it is. So if you want to sit on the floor, that's more comfy sitting in a chair. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, whatever's more comfy to you if you need a pillow. Okay, all right. So in your mind's eye, if it's easier to close your eyes, that's fine, that's totally fine. You wanna bring up that ginormous peace sign and, or whatever's peaceful to you if you wanna think of a dove, a fuzzy kitten. Um, <laughs> ice cream sundae. Oh, <laughs> ice cream sundae, <laughs> yum, okay. So, all right, whatever is peaceful for you. And then whatever you wanna release. And if you just wanna just throw it or release it with your hands, like, like a dove, whatever, whatever works for you. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep the chanting going. If you stop chanting, cause you need to focus, totally fine. And when I just feel it, I don't, there's no scientific method to this. When I just feel it, then, then we'll, we'll bring it to an end. So here we go. I am going to also use Reiki during this. So if you see me moving my hands, that's why. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I find peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. 
In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. With love and gratitude, I release. In its place, I have peace. How do we feel? Liberated. <laughs> All right. Checking in. How are you doing? Liberated. Awesome. Oh, fantastic. Yay. That was, a, that was a beautiful, beautiful chat, by the way. Well, I can't take credit for it. It just came to me. As I think like when I was, oh yes, I was driving. So I'm like, oh. And so I used the dictation on my phone. I'm not looking at my phone and I, and I, <laughs> I put it in my, my phone. So that way I wouldn't forget it. You know, because otherwise by the time I got home, I'd be like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and it, because it's short and it rhymes, um, rhyming things are easier to remember. Um, so it's something you can use any, uh, any uh, court, you know, fourth quarter moon or, or uh, every day, if you, whatever happens in your day and you just want to let it go, just like Elsa, let it go. Nope. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you'd like to share? Because that's the end of our, our work for tonight. I, I think I'm all right. All right, awesome. Anything you want to share on the stage? No. All righty. So thank you for joining. I appreciate it. And um, if you so choose, um, just uh, Click that link for the Facebook group, um, and I'll let you. I'll let you in, and that way you have access to all the replays right there in one spot. Um, and then no, no magical Monday next Monday because it's a holiday. But we'll rejoin um, two weeks from tonight. Oh, okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so so much. You are welcome. All and right. Hope you, hope you have a magical Monday. <laughs> magical Monday. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm going to stop the recording and